Yo, what is going on everybody? After Midnight here, and we've got some UFC 2 playing some uh, quick little fight now exhibition using Kane Velasquez taking on Stipe Miocci, which really don't use the uh, exhibition feature so much, so... Bought this game because I think it was on sale for like 38 bucks on the Xbox One with the games for gold for this month, so pretty good deal. I really don't use my Xbox that much, but I saw on Reddit it was on sale, so I was like, I guess I'll save 20 bucks instead of buying the PS4 version, so 38 bucks for digital version, definitely worth it. And then, um, yeah, so there is a big fight coming up this weekend. It's going to be free to watch on Fox Sports 1. Rory McDonald, who's got an 18-3 and MMA record, taking on Steven Thompson, who is, he's either 12-0 and or 12-1. and I don't think he's lost in the UFC yet, though. I googled it, and it did say 12-1 and and 12-0 and and some other uh, websites, too. So I'm not completely sure, but I want to say he's 12-0. and I don't know if he really has a loss. If he does have a loss, it didn't come in the UFC at all. So going to be a big fight. I'm a big uh, Rory McDonald fan, and um, this is his last fight on his current contract. And if he loses, he said he is most likely to become a uh, free agent. And then I said become super weird there. I had, like, a mid-burp when I talked, so it sounded like I had Parkinson's or something. But... Yeah, he'll most likely become a free agent and side with Bellator if he loses this fight just because he said he wanted to be financially compensated. So his last fight against Robbie Lawler, if no one's seen it, it's probably on YouTube. That was like one of the three best fights I've ever seen. It was a five-round freaking war that those two dudes went into. But um, yeah, he said he only got paid 60 grand for that fight and then he made like another 50 or 60 off sponsorships. But uh, you can't wear sponsors in the Octagon anymore. You have to wear Reebok... Uh, logo shorts and they only pay you 10 grand so he'll be losing quite the amount of money i know 10 grand is a lot of money but not when you're number one ranked uh welterweight in the world for a giant billion dollar company so i'd like to see him win but i don't know it's gonna be a razor close fight i really can't pick a winner like i said i think rory will get it but steven thompson has some of the best footwork i've ever seen the dude's just a fucking monster um in mma and i think he's still coming up he's only been doing it for like four or five years so guy's pretty scary and whoever wins this fight will most likely get a title fight so i'd like to see rory win just so he can get some uh leverage to get more money for a new contract and then fight robbie lawler for a third time i know people don't want to see him get a third shot if he lost the first two but second one was such an amazing fight and the first one wasn't a title fight so it would be his second title fight of the re uh, year of the year of his career holy fuck i sound retarded so um yeah but whoever wins it, it's most likely you're gonna get a title fight the number one and number two guys are fighting so i got rory i don't know if anyone else watches ufc or not but if you do leave your predictions in the uh comment section and then i think uh cerrone and cote are fighting too i'm not sure the rest of the card but it's really good main events for a uh, fs1 card so um i'll probably do a playthrough on ufc too i think i might do it like live commentary over it for career mode or i'll do some for uh, ultimate team which i've been playing this single player for for ultimate team because i try to play against other dudes they get shit on my guys levels just aren't high enough yet so um yeah probably do that i might uh stream it on twitch or just uh, record the entire things and post them to youtube we'll see if uh they get any views or people like them or not but just uh yeah so i think i end up losing this fight actually i was using velasquez playing against miyochi and um I just didn't block, he landed like 300 freaking strikes to my face or something ridiculous, which I don't know how Velasquez didn't get knocked out, but that's it guys, those are my predictions, like I said, probably going to do some UFC 2 playthroughs just because I've really been digging this game, it's fun to play, uh, super realistic, once you get the um, dodging system down, like when I punched and stuff before, I think I played it with the EA Access trial, I didn't know how to use like the left trigger to uh, like dodge around and everything like that, but once I figured out the controls, really fun game, uh, way better than the uh, first one so if you have ea access on the xbox one I recommend checking it out you can download the full game and play it for 10 hours but that's it guys um all right i'm out more videos to come so thanks for watching